Sally, the governor has changed some guidelines for the state, and one of those is about the size of gatherings. The governor recently changed the mass gathering number to 10. Does that mean that teams can work out in pods of 9 to 1 now? That doesn't change anything that we are doing. Our regulations are under youth sports, and at this time, youth sports are still 5 to 1, and those no-contact sports of wrestling, basketball, football, and soccer are still not able to work out. So we do not follow 9 to 1, 10 to 1 with the mass gathering. So we are still at a 5 to 1 ratio. Are quarantine restrictions still in effect for any students, coaches, or families that travel out of state? Uh, they are. You know, at this point, we are still a 14-day quarantine. Whether you fly or drive out of state, when you come back into the state, you're at a 14-day quarantine. However, if you leave the state for 24 hours for a parental reasons, or you have a doctor's appointment, then you do not have to quarantine. But our student athletes, especially those club athletes that are going out of state or they're going with their families out of state, especially over Labor Day weekend, will need to quarantine for 14 days. Are masks still required for physical activity? They are. That has not changed in the last governor's address. She did not change exercise. So at this time, we still are mask wearing at all times, even during exercise, and, and that is for our cross-country runners as well. Have any of the start dates for fall sports changed? We are at October 5th. You know, at the beginning of the, I would say beginning of the summer, you know, we had golf and cross-country starting in September. But since we are in remote learning, and by the time those high schoolers get back, we have shifted all sports to begin on October 5th. There have been some changes in the sport of cross country. How will state be run and is it still going to be a one day event? You know, the whole season has changed, JP. You know, we're talking about the regular season because in cross country, we cannot have the massive amounts on the starting line. We cannot congregate all those kids. So we have a lot of changes happening in cross country. During the regular season, you'll see that our meets are going to be smaller. And there's going to be a lot of meets that have staggered time. So kids run and then they leave the course and then somebody else comes and runs. So we're going to have a lot of changes in regular season. As far as state is concerned, we are going to go to two days. And that's going to be four races on Friday and four races on Saturday. And that is to limit the amount of kids that are there at one time. However, also on the starting line, you know, in state, we usually have between 120, 130 athletes running at one time in a race, and we just cannot do that. So instead of having our traditional seven runners from a team in a race, we are now going to go down to five runners per team. Also, usually we have three qualify out of the districts. We are now going to have two. So we are going to limit the amount of kids that can run in the state meet. And lastly, the NMAA recently started a mental health awareness campaign. What prompted that idea and why is that so important? You know, before COVID-19 happened, JP, back in January, February, the NMAA, we had already started thinking about mental health awareness. You know, there had been some suicides among athletes and among students within New Mexico. So we started working with the Department of Health to go through some mental health training. Then COVID-19 hit, and we kind of had to put a standstill stand on that. Um, but now in June and July, you know, when kids are starting to get sedentary and there was no interaction with coaches and their sports were gone, we did see some uptick in depression and suicides and, and some of the mental health issues that are going on with our student athletes. So it is time, JP, that we need to rev back up and make sure that we have awareness out there, you know, crisis hotlines, um, trying to get rid of the stigma of mental health and trying to make sure that kids and understand that there are people out there that are there to help them. And right now with athletics and activities, we need to get our coaches involved. We need to get our sponsors involved and we need to make sure that our students um, are well cared for and that they understand that they matter. And so it is today that we're going to kick off this mental health awareness. Every Wednesday, we're going to have Wellness Wednesdays. And we're going to do this all year because it is so important that the kids understand that they matter and they are cared for. And through this, to this time when we are a little bit sedentary and we're worried about are we going to have sports, 
it's a great time to say, hey, you matter and we are going to play sports again in Mexico.